Hello and welcome back. My name is Amir and this is Project Euler series, puzzle number 26, reciprocal cycles. So let's go and see what we are facing for today. The, so it says that a unit fraction contains one in the numerator, so like this. So the decimal representation of the unit fractions with denominators 2 to 10 are given like this, okay? Uh, where this number, which is this one, means that 0, 1 and the bunch of 6 and uh, so it has a one digit recurring circle so this 6 will be repeated into the infinity and um, it can also be seen that 1 over 7 has a six digit recurring cycle so it will be this number and then again this number and then again this number and so it has a six digit recurring cycle so find the value of d less than 1000 which 1 over d contains the longest decimal fraction part right so uh, for each number we need to get the length of the recursion and uh, then find out which one was the biggest one so so let me tell you how I'm going to resolve this. So for example, 1 divided by, uh, let's say, 8. I have a map here. I'm calling it iterations. Iterations like this. This is an empty object for now. And in the beginning, my current value is 1. And I am in the iteration number 0 there will be a while loop here until I get to a point that I want to you know break from the loop and in each loop I will see if I have gotten to the iteration of the current value that I am in if we have reached that then I'm fine and I can break out of the loop otherwise I need to calculate the, the iteration so I would say that do I have the iteration of the count here? No, it's empty. So I need to do the division. I will add a 0 to this. It will become 10. 10 divided by 8 is 1 with the remainder of 2. So my current will be 2 and I will add 1 here. I would say for 1, uh, my iteration was 0. Then I will go on. Uh, do I have the iteration of 2? No. So I will add 2 here. And of course I need to add 1 here. So I will add 2 here and I will say for 2 I get to iteration 1. Or in other words in iteration 1 I get to number 2. Then I would say 2 times 10 is 20, divided by 8 is 16, with the remainder of 4. So this is 4. Then again, iterations. Do I have the iteration of 4 here? No. So I would say I get to 4 after... Ah, sorry. Then I would add to the iteration. I would say, do I get to the iteration of 4? No. So I would say 4 is 2. Then I would say 4 divide four times 10 is 40, divided by 8 is 5, with the remainder of 0. And this is 3. Then did I get to the iteration of 0? No, so I would say 0 is 3. Then 0 times uh, 10 is 0, divided by 8 is 0, and the iteration is 0. I would add to this one becomes 4. Do I get to the iteration of 0? Yes, it's number 3. So I will return 3. So let's write the code for this part. I will keep it here so that I can reference it and I will go along.
Yes, so let me check if I have done it okay or not. Let's say the get length of 12, for example. Twelve is one, yes. So let's say seven, which will give us probably six. Yes, I'm doing it fine. Right, and uh, another test, for example, two. Mm, the iteration is one. Right. So yeah. So now I need to. I'm gonna go from z from one to one thousand and see which one is the which one gives us the greater one. So let's say. Just uh, like the candidate number, and then we're good to go. It's nine eight three. So let's check that. So yeah, that was about it for this puzzle. I hope you have learned something. Um, the code will always be in my GitHub channel, and uh, see you in the next video then.